You know, if you are looking for extra income or you are looking to turn your car into a profit center on a full-time basis, there are actually ways to deliver packages with your own car and earn some solid bread in the process. So if you are interested in learning more, I want you to stick around till the end. Welcome back for, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee, or tea, or vodka, and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to explain to you how to deliver packages with your own car and earn some serious cash in the process. First thing first, you need to get to know. So you have to ask yourself, can I deliver packages with my car? See, using your own car gives you a lot of convenience as a profession. You won't need a special driver's license. You won't have to work for a company if you don't want to. You can set your own hours. This is really important. The flexibility is really important. You can be your own boss. You can deliver with your car to supplement your full-time job. And some people even turn this delivery of their with their own car into a full-time job itself. See, you can also have just one vehicle for work and personal use. So there are some important considerations, however, though. For instance, before you get started, you should check to see if you need special insurance for your car and its content. Very important. You may be liable for damage to packages or you may need extra coverage because you are using a personal vehicle for a business. There are some special considerations that you need to think about. For instance, some jurisdiction will, will need goods in transit insurance or hire and reward or light haulage insurance. So this will all depends on where you live in the state where you are at. You got to factor in the, the cost of purchasing and maintaining your vehicle, including plates and insurance, as, as well as fuel costs. On the flip side, you may gain the benefit of some tax advantages by using your own car. So this is really important. So depending on your jurisdiction, there are different pros and cons to using your personal vehicle to deliver packages and other items. Okay, so now let's just kind of break it down a little more. Let's just dig a little deeper here. What are the different types of car courier jobs? Because that's what you'll be doing. You'll be actually become you'll becoming like a car courier. Okay, you can probably guess that as a driver making deliveries with your car, you will get jobs for smaller packages that don't need a large van or flatbed truck. But what items will you actually deliver or can you deliver? Well, that includes everything from legal documents and online shopping to small furniture items, books, clothing, jewelry, same-day food from restaurants, for example, and grocery shops and more. You, you could actually get work delivering legal documents that are time-sensitive, for example, or you could, you could actually uh, operate as a medical courier. So in this, in, in this case, you will transport and deliver medical documents or records, lab specimens or test results, medical supplies and medications, okay, pharmacies clinics, hospitals, sometimes even hire independent couriers to deliver prescriptions to customers, okay, and prescriptions and medications. So if you are delivering medical items, you may need to learn special procedures as well as guarantee proper handling and confidentiality. This is really important, okay? So, so, so what I'm trying to say here is there is a large constellation of opportunities if you decide to uh, deliver packages with your own vehicle. Now let's talk about, there's another thing that you need to know when we talk about getting to know the whole field. Can I deliver packages for Amazon? Because a lot of folks are interested in the Amazon thing. Yes, you can deliver packages for, you know, for Amazon with your car. So Amazon actually has opened its doors to give opportunities with where they have something called the Amazon Flex. So the Amazon Flex Courier Service allows you to deliver packages with your own car, okay? So the concept is pretty consistent with other on-demand driver jobs. So you will work delivering packages from the fulfillment centers of Amazon or partner stores using your own vehicle. Now, the thing is there are different types of Amazon delivery jobs, including deliveries for Prime Now and Amazon Logistics. Okay, so to start, you simply need to download the Amazon Flex app on your mobile device and set up an account. 
Okay, so so now the question that people always ask, well, how much money can I make to deliver packages with my car? Well, you know, this is really, well, it really depends. It depends on your, juris, your jurisdiction. It depends on the kind of uh, load you are hauling, the, the kind of packages you're delivering, okay? It depends on whether you work for yourself, contract with a company, or work as an employee. It also depends how you get paid. If you, if you are on a salary, an hourly wage, or per delivery, for instance, okay? So, the United States Bureau of Liberal Statistics, you know, the, the BLS, reports that couriers make up to 48 grand per year and up to $23 per hour. So, really, you know, this is, this is actually uh, an average. So, depending on where you live, it really can be uh, up or down. So, among those industries with the highest concentration of employment in couriers and messengers, the mean or average salary r range from 29 grand to 34 grand per year. So, but the thing is, not every worker works for an hourly wage. It really depends. So, if you decide to work for yourself, you can charge per delivery or per mile. And you can even add you can add in an amount for waiting time if your clients need you to wait for pickups or drop offs. So it's all about flexibility. It's all about what, what really works for you. Let me give you an example. Some companies that hire drivers to deliver restaurant meals have a formula for paying the drivers. You'll be paid by order based on the driving and waiting time as well as mileage and you get to keep all the tips. Others calculate by giving you a base pay as well as compensation for waiting time and mileage. So this is really, it's in some states, for example, working as a courier is considered a service job. So you can make extra money in tips. So it really depends on the kind of jurisdiction you find yourself into. So first step, you need, to, you need to get to know the industry a little bit more. Number two, you want to familiarize, okay? It's important to get some, some level of familiarity here. So you, you need to understand the importance of delivering packages with your own car is uh, really high. Using your own vehicle for making deliveries gives you a lot of convenience and freedom. That's true. You can either work for a delivery service company or successfully become an independent contract delivery courier. Now, you can also establish your working hours and decide on the number of deliveries you can make in a day, right? You basically, it's really up to you. That's your call. You can basically be your own boss. You also do not require a special driving license since the car belongs to you. You need to be 18 years old or older and have a valid driver's license and clean driving record. And you are all set to, to start making good money with great flexibility, okay? Now, the thing is that you really have... When I'm talking about familiarity, you need to have, uh, you, you got, you have a lot of ways to make money, okay? You can really deliver, like, listen, again, I'm not saying you need a, you need a large van or deliver a truck. You can always focus on small packages, okay? And the thing is, you can deliver for online shopping parcels. You can deliver anything from online shopping parcels to small furniture pieces, accessories, and books, too. Now, the thing is that it, it really depends on... Uh, what kind of uh, niche you want to be, you want to focus on. Because you can say, listen, I'm going to focus only on the medic on, on medical packages. Like, I'll be working with labs, I will be working with uh, clinics, with pharmacies. That's all I want to do. Or you can say, you know what, I want to focus, I want to really be delivering food only. So I'll be working with the restaurants, I'll be working with online restaurants, I'll be working with, uh, yeah, a lot of eateries in the area. That's what I want to do. Or you can say, listen, I want to focus on, say, delivering furniture, okay, or working with uh, with uh, service service companies like lawyers, for example. Lawyers, as you know, they have uh, they, they 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 have needs all the time. They have to uh, they have the need to uh, have time sensitive legal documents delivered. And if you are in that niche, it's a pretty lucrative niche, and it's really important to understand that you can always you can always decide what really works for you. What I'm trying to say here is what familiarize yourself with the jurisdiction you're in and familiar you have to familiarize yourself with the needs in that jurisdiction very important step number three i want you to plan see the thing is if you want to make money you have to do a little bit of planning that means what it needs it means that you need to plan your delivery route in advance this is important don't underestimate it do not assume that being a contract courier or independent contractor delivery driver is always easy. No, every job, including delivery service jobs, 
has its pros and cons. And when we talk about delivering packages with your own car, the job has challenges, okay? Finding the destination for every single delivery drop-off is one of the most demanding and tedious aspects of delivery services. Therefore, planning your store, planning your route beforehand will save you time and fuel cost and streamline your work. This, this is what it is. You know, you, you really are, you have to eliminate the uncertainty out of your uh, delivery jobs, okay? You can use Google Maps or the other planning software applications on your phone to locate each location, okay, to look at each uh, geography you're going to and schedule your day before you hit the road. It's very important. If you plan to deliver, let's say, uh, many parcels each day, you might want to look at a more comprehensive route planning software solution that allows you to include and plan multiple stops in each route. Okay, so this is really important. Now, what I'm trying to say here is that what you basically basically have to think about. Let's say you have five deliveries during the day. You got to think about, you know, how to move from A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E. Now, that's just the basic planning. You got to think about traffic. It's not just about how to move from point A, point A to point B. It's all about taking into account the potential traffic that you might have, potential road blockages. If there is a problem on the road, okay, it's all thinking about, hey, listen, I have to think about the time. You know, how is traffic or how is the, the uh, how is the, um, you know, the whole thing is how can I actually make things actually, how can I deliver those packages real fast? Okay, you got to think also about wait time. I mean, do I have to wait or can I just drop off the item and just leave right away? So those are really important things. Now, wh what about fuel cost? Okay, am I going far? What about mileage? So those are really important. Now, if you if you plan very well, you can actually and the thing is you need to plan. You need to map out the delivery, the itineraries that you are going to follow beforehand. And you can you can use uh, route planning software, as I said, or you can use Google Map and put in all the all the uh, the destinations you're going to in the day and you just look at the whole map before even hitting the road very important you want to drive smart boss this is really important to drive smart now the thing is you need to know where the packages are located in your car okay this is important because you want to organize packages in your vehicle your vehicle can be small or big but you got to have a way to organize your uh, to organize the, the vehicle and you need to particularly you need to know how the packages are located in your car especially if you have uh, packages that are a little unique like let's say you're not delivering furniture in uh, only furniture on this day you're then you're delivering yeah you're you're delivering like uh, furniture you're doing a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, you know a scrap you're doing uh, some um, some legal services like you have a constellation a different mix of packages then you need to really make sure that uh you know exactly how to how to handle everything so you can drive smart okay so I, i've already talked about ensuring your delivery route is optimized very important okay it's all about finding the shortest path between two points okay it's all about sometimes finding the most optimal path for all your de your destinations okay and uh you also want to plan stops beforehand to save money on fuel expenses this is very important because fuel prices may, might fluctuate even between neighborhoods therefore if you deliver packages using your car choosing where you can stop for gas can make a significant difference okay so it's all about driving efficiently to save fuel the way you drive your car can also help save fuel and reduce the uh, heavy fuel expenses that come straight out of your pocket remember those costs will come straight out of your pocket for instance drive your car slowly and within speed limits you can also turn off your car when you are at a halt for a longer period of time this will help you prevent wasting fuel unnecessarily okay you want to plan and incorporate essential breaks into your route you can't drive the, around town all day and deliver packages at multiple locations without any break you, you're not a robot okay if you do so it will leave you tired and irritable and ultimately impact your work negatively so you don't want that therefore make sure to include let's say like essential breaks into your plan every day because doing so will save you time and money and if you plan, if you don't plan for bathroom breaks or tea and refreshment breaks you risk complicating your route because of an emergency stop or an accident let's talk about maintaining 
maintenance is really important and this is something that rookie uh rookie drivers actually uh underestimate and you don't want to do this okay keep up with the periodic maintenance on your vehicle the thing is you want to get your car serviced regularly because remember when you were driving your car just for personal reasons the car wasn't actually uh, having a high mileage uh, counter now that you really want to uh, you know once you start delivering the the odometer will go up okay so make sure that you actually service your car regularly it will use less fuel and you will identify problems before they become a big issue that can save you money in the long run so since you'll be using your car every day for long hours to make deliveries, your car can become vulnerable to wear and tear, but you can easily prevent that by getting your car serviced periodically. And this is kind of cool. And you know, cause, cause you really want to uh, avoid future mechanical problems. Okay. So, and the thing is that, um, and I said, I just said before, when we talk about maintaining, you have to also make sure that you plan your car in terms of the packages you drive optimally. So. Take into account the fact that you'll be transporting a variety of goods and frequently stopping to deliver them throughout the day. So if you have to search your car at each stop, the time you spend mounts up to uh, mount up over the course of the whole day. Imagine if you have uh, 10 deliveries, let's say today you just took off and uh, you took off from your regular job and it's Saturday or Sunday and you just feel like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to do 10 deliveries today. And, and if you have to stop 15 minutes, 15 20 minutes between each delivery to look for packages to wait for the for the customer blah 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 that's 15 minutes times 10 okay that's like two and a half hours think about it those really 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 add up okay and so the thing is you can counteract this effect at each location by organizing your parcels in your car based on the delivery address and drop off sequence those are really really important drop off sequence is really critical and this is something you can do and again i'm not talking about you, you you don't need to have technology like you don't have to plan everything on your smartphone if you don't want to if you if you don't want to we know folks we have clients who actually will have a piece of paper and you know good old you know good old-fashioned piece of paper you write things down on the piece of paper and say listen i'm delivering from point a to point b from point b to point c point d to point c to point d point, and so on and so forth so i'm actually going i'm going to put down on a piece of paper the addresses and everything and you know so you can act the, th the whole thing is you just need to plan whatever way you plan your day you just need to plan i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Suri Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about um, how to deliver packages with your own car. And right now, I just want to talk to you about saving money because this is really important. You got to find ways to save money with, uh, with your car. Okay. So when you deliver packages with your car, you got to save money in the long run because if you don't save cash, you will be, you will realize very soon that whatever profits, whatever income you derive from the activity, you actually, that income has been sucked right into uh, the, the, the delivery of the packages itself. Okay. So you are leaving valuable dollars on the table by ignoring the, the five simple ways that I'm just going to give you right now in terms of saving money, delivering packages with your car. So number one, you want to organize your daily route to avoid time wasters. So when you leave in the morning, be sure your route will uh, will avoid traffic congestion, construction, and other time wasters like left hand turns. Okay. Now you want to plan ahead to save money on fuel. So fuel prices can vary even from neighborhoods. I said that. So planning where you stop for, to buy fuel is important. And now you may find that uh, there are some uh, apps that gives you uh, the, they give you a lot of info about where to find gas stations with uh, with uh, at a very affordable prices. Okay, and uh, for example, you can actually uh, use Gas Buddy. You know, Gas Buddy is kind of cool. It, you know, helps you out actually finding nearby stations with the lowest price. You want to drive to save fuel. The way you drive can also help save fuel. Drive slowly. I've already said that build breaks into your plan okay it's very important so and do not forget even the, the maintenance okay so when we talk about saving money we're talking about using your car as a profit center i've said this before use your car as a profit center what is a profit center a profit center is an asset or a department or i mean if you're talking about a regular job it's basically a department or in, in your case an asset that produces revenue 
that produces income. If you think about it as an asset, you have to maintain the asset. You have to polish it, you have to polish it up. You have to uh, make sure the asset is always optim optimal in terms of delivering uh, performance. So basically, you kind of look at your car differently. You got to look at your car differently. You got to look at your car as a revenue generating asset. And that way, you have to actually pamper the car. You have to drive it. You have to drive it optimally. You have to take care of it. You can't just drive recklessly and just hope to make money as a delivery as a as a delivery driver with your own car. Last but not the least, don't forget to enjoy yourself. You know, because the thing is, it's a job, but it's also uh, it's also a hobby, really. People actually make money on the side or people can make money at, as, a, as a full time job in this business. But it's important to enjoy yourself. Remember, there are benefits of delivering packages with your own car. A lot of benefits, really. Let's look through some of the benefits. You have flexible working hours. You can choose. OK, you can choose actually when to work. It's not nobody. You don't have, you have no job. I mean, you no job. You have no boss telling you that you have to actually deliver from eight to five. No, having flexible working hours allows you to spend more time with friends and family, and participates in extracurricular activities outside of work. It also allows you to maintain a healthy social life without making any sacrifices. So even if you choose to work long hours, that will be your choice. That will be your call, and you'll be able to earn more money. If you already have a full-time job, you can use your car to deliver packages as a side venture to supplement your income. So basically, it's important you have the you have an opportunity to earn good money. So that's a good advantage of transporting and delivering packages using your car. Okay, some delivery drivers, as I said before, they actually charge a per mile fee. Some people do per delivery. Okay, it's really you can charge an hourly rate, and you also have job security. Okay, you remember in the U.S. At least in the U.S., there is always a demand for delivery services. Therefore, you can be assured that you always have work coming in, and you will never have to wonder if your livelihood is in jeopardy. Okay, it's it, 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 you have you have a constant flow of folks asking for delivery jobs. Okay, so the thing here is that make sure that you understand the niche that you want to be you want to find yourself in. Choose wisely. So that's that's number one. Choose the choose the right niche, one or two niches or three niches. Okay. Number two, you want to maintain your car. Number three, you really want to optimize your your deliveries. And number four, and very important, you want to really, really, really deliver excellent customer service. See, the thing is not just about just going and picking packages and just delivering. No, it's about how you actually uh, think about the whole the whole value you are adding in the process. And customer service is really important. Smile, be on time, be punctual. You want to ask. Uh, you want to ask for feedback. Okay, it's really important. You can ask for feedback informally. You don't have to have like some kind of form and asking. You know, was I good or was I bad? Whatever. No, ask people quite quietly and uh, informally how you, how you were. And gradually, you can build a, you can build a strong reputation in the industry. And who knows? You can turn a side gig into a full time job. You never know. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about how to deliver packages with your own car and earn some solid bread, solid cash in the process. Number one, get to know. Number two, you want to familiarize yourself. Number three, plan. Number four, drive smart. Number five, maintain. Number six, save money. And number seven, enjoy. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>